Hi, everybody. We are um, on lesson nine. Homework helper is page 41. Now, this is um, it's just like we did in class, and it's really just like we were doing with our place value disks. Instead of drawing uh, 100 and putting a circle around it, or 10, or 1, we're making dots in the columns. So this is my hundreds column. If I put a chip there, I know it's a hundred. This is my 10 column. If there's a chip there, that's a 10. Making a dot is just a lot faster than writing all those numbers, but it's the exact same process that we used for that. So let's get right into it. We're going to be using our algorithm. When they say algorithm, they mean a strategy or a particular way of doing it. So we've been learning a particular way of bundling and making a 10. And if we have to, we will bundle and make a 100. And we've learned how to do that. We've learned how to write it in our vertical form. So let's get started with that first. 127 plus 14, 127, and I'm going to remember to line my 14 up carefully because 14 doesn't have 100. It's got 10s and 1s. So we need 110 in the 10s place and four 1s in the 1s place. I also need to be careful when I'm putting my line at the bottom so that I leave enough room. If I have to bundle a 10 or a 100, I can add that down here. So we are going to go ahead and represent those numbers with chips in our place value chart. So we have 127, 100, 10, 20, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127. So that's my first number. Underneath I have 14. Again, there's no hundreds. There is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, as I look at this, I can look here at the digits and just double check. I have 1, 100, 2, 10s and seven ones. That matches up with that number. Here I need one ten and four ones, and that's what I have. So we start with our ones just in case we need to bundle. If we start over here, then we're going to get in trouble. So we start here with our ones, and if you've done it in your five groups, it's really easy to see. I need three more here to make 10. 7 and 3 is one of our number bonds for 10. So I'm going to just bundle that up and I have one more. So when I add 7 and 4, how many do I have? I have 11 and we can say 11 as 10, 1. It's one ten and one more. So when I come over here and I do my ones like I did here, I know that seven and four is eleven, which is one ten. I write on the line and one one. So I brought that one over here on the bottom. I'm going to bring it over and put it on the bottom here too, so that when I'm adding up, I won't forget it. So now I'm going to move on to my tens. We had 2 plus 1 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and the one more is 4. And I can't make 10 tens, so I can't make a 100. So we're going to not be bringing anything over to the hundreds. We can't bundle that. So we only have 1 still in the hundreds place. It would be 1 plus 0. There's nothing there. So 1. So 127 plus 14 is 141. Nice. Let's take a look at our next one. 135 
plus 46. We're going to do it exactly the same way. We're going to start with our vertical form, 135. And lining up very carefully, I have four tens and six ones, so I want that in the right place. I'm going to add my plus sign so I don't forget what I'm doing. And let's represent 135. There's 100, three tens, five ones. 100, ten, twenty, thirty, 131, 32, 33, 34, 35. 100, three tens, five ones. I'm going to come down here, no hundreds. I'm going to need four tens and six ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So I have 135 on top, I have 46 on the bottom, and I'm going to start by adding my ones. Now I can see right there I have a row of five and a row of five. I can bundle that together to make a 10. So I'm going to draw my arrow and bring my 10 over. So is 5 plus 6 10? No, there's one more. So it is 10, 1, or 11. So when I write that over here, I'm going to write my 10 and my 1. So that is 11. 1, 10, and 1, 1. Now I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to add my tens. I had three plus four plus one. Three plus four is seven plus one more is eight. Do I have, can I make a hundred? Can I bundle? I can't yet. So I have 100 plus zero is 100. 135 plus 46 equals 181. One more on this page. 108 plus 37. Starting with our vertical form, 100 zero tens, eight ones. 37 three tens, seven ones. And I need to represent my numbers with chips and the place value. So I have 100, zero tens. And then I have eight ones. So 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. 37, there's no hundreds. We have three tens and seven ones. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I have eight at the top. It's pretty easy to see how many more, but I also know what my number pairs are for 10. So if I have eight, I need two more to make a 10, and I have that. So I'm going to bundle up my 8 and my 2. And, ooh, we have quite a few left. When I add 8 and 7, how many is that? It's 10, 5, or the regular way we would say, 15. So I bundled that 10. I want to move it over and add it to this column. And I have 10, 5. So I am going to write that here. I have 10, 5, or 15. And you can still see the 15. We just put it there so we don't forget to add it in. 0 plus 3 is... 3, 3 plus 1 
is 4. Can we bundle up our 10s? No, there aren't 10. There's only 4 of them. So we still have 1 plus 0 is 1. 108 plus 37 is the same as 145. I'm going to the second page. If you need to pause to catch up, you can. But I'll bet you're staying right with me. So here, wow. Solve using the algorithm. Write a number sentence for the problem modeled on the place value chart. Well, that is confusing. So this time, they've already made the chips, but they're not showing us the numbers. We have to figure out what those numbers are based on what they've written here. So our first number has 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148. I just realized it would probably make it easier if I went ahead and labeled my place value chart so I can remember these are hundreds, these are tens, and these are ones. So I have 148. And I am adding the second number. I'm not counting this one yet because I can see that's where they have bundled. So I'm not using that 10 quite yet. This is two tens. There's no hundreds. There's two tens and five, six ones. So this is 26. Lining up my tens and my ones very carefully. Now, they have already shown me how to bundle. Eight plus six is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 10, four. So we have 10, four. They've moved that one over 10, and there are four left in the ones place. So now we can add up our tens, which is four plus two plus one, which is seven, four, five, six, seven. Still can't bundle up the tens, so we still have 100 plus zero is one. So 148 plus 26 equals 174. That was tricky of them, but we understand our place value chips. I think we're going to be fine. Let's take a look at the word problem. It's the same word problem, but it's got two parts, so we'll take it one at a time. Jane made 48 lemon bars and 23 cookies. How many lemon bars and cookies did she make? 48 lemon bars, 23 cookies. How many lemon bars and cookies? That sounds like we need to add those two numbers together. So 48 plus 23 equals something. We've got the two parts. We need the whole. I'm going to turn that into my vertical form. 48. 23, everything is lined up, and I'm going to represent with chips. Four tens and eight ones. There's no hundreds here. Four tens and eight ones. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Now I'm going to add 23. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Excellent. I have to start with my ones. I have eight up here. How many more do I need to make a 10? I just need that two more. So I am going to bundle up 10 and look there. There's one left. Eight plus three is 10, one, or the regular way we would say 11. I'm going to just move that one over. So we have one ten and one one, and I'm going to write that one ten in the tens place and one one at the bottom. Move over, let's add up our tens. Four plus two plus one. Four plus two is six, plus one more is seven. Can we bundle that up to make a hundred? We can't. So 48 plus 23 is 71. She had 71 lemon bars and cookies all together. That's how much she made. Now, the second part. Jane made 19 more lemon bars. How many lemon bars does she have now? Hmm, I'm gonna have to go back up and see how many lemon bars did she have? She had 48 lemon bars, and now she's made 19 more. How many does she have? She's made more of them. We have to add that together. So 48 plus 19. Let's make sure we line it up correctly and represent it over here. So. Again, there's no hundreds. Here are my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, four tens. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Four tens, eight ones. My second number is 19. If we said that the say 10 way, it would be 10, nine. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One ten, nine ones. Good. So starting with our ones, we have eight again. How many do we need to add to eight to get 10? What is the pair? Eight and two. So we have eight and two that makes 10, and we have quite a few left over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 10, seven. 10, seven or 17. I'm gonna bundle up that 10 and move it over to the tens. So I have one 10, seven ones. I'm gonna write that over here as one 10, seven ones. That's the number 17. You can still see it. So now I add up my tens. Four plus one plus one. Four plus one is five. One more is six. Can we bundle up six? That is not enough. So that is the answer. She has 67 lemon bars. Boys and girls, you worked very hard today. This is really, really good work. I will see you next time.